Hey guys, recently I've been taking a class on a website called monthly.com. The cool thing is this class is hosted by a YouTuber uh, named Mark Rober. He does these science and engineering videos. He's really cool, you should definitely check him out. He started this class to teach engineering. I was one of those people and I did it along with some of my friends, so that made it more fun. I created three builds and I'm going to show you the second one, which is by far my favorite. It's basically this laser mirror sound thing and it makes these static images on the wall out of laser. So instead of explaining it to you now, I'm just going to get right into it and explain it. So enjoy! I'm here! All right, so uh, this creates these laser pattern things. You can see the computer board, the wires, all the, all the sensors, the laser. This box here is a speaker and laser and tiny, tiny little mirror. The actual speaker is under this balloon. We stretched it over and so it's basically covering so you can't see. There's a small mirror here and a laser pointing at it, which I will get to later. This is a Raspberry Pi, which is basically a small computer. It's obviously not as good as a regular computer, but it's actually pretty good. This is a uh, distance sensor, specifically ultrasonic. So if I just wave my hand here, it sends a signal. It's not on now, so it's not sending any signal. So here's basically what I've created. When this laser shines onto this mirror, it will bounce and go off into the distance somewhere. The cool thing is, is when you turn this on, we've set some frequencies, specific uh, frequencies that this plays and that vibrates the balloon, which in turn vibrates the mirror and it makes, and this vibrates. So when the laser hits, obviously, the laser is going to um, go in different directions. You, you can see that, but it vibrates so fine and so quickly that you can actually, it actually makes a, shape on the wall. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but I think I'll just put a picture right there. There, so you saw it. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what's basically gonna happen. Uh, my little twist to it is I added this uh, ultrasonic sensor so that when I put my hand here, it should read how far away my hand is, send that uh, distance into the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will then convert that distance into a specific frequency and send that into the speaker and that speaker will play that frequency. So here it might make a, it might, it'll make a higher frequency, lower, 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 high, 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 low, 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 low. That's basically how it is. We also programmed it so that if there's nothing here, it will make no sound at all, at all. The goal was to make something artsy. I know it's not too artsy, but it's patterns. That's art, right? Yeah. I got kind of bored while making this, so I ended up making some weird robotic voice. Uh, so it basically talks a little bit about pizza for the first few seconds uh, after I turned it on. It's automatic. Second I turned it on, it'll just start talking once it boots up. And says some random words which I cannot predict. We just gave it a ton of different words and it kind of turns that into a sentence using the code, which I will show you later. But now, for now, let me turn this on and show it to you. Oh, I turned it off. There we go. Oh, okay, I think it should work. Once it boots up, it'll start talking. So it's got Hello, I am a speaker. And I was bought at Best Buy. I do not know what pizza tastes like. I would really like one with mushrooms and extra pineapple. Today, I predict that Clever Bucket will build quickly and some will bark gently. <laughs> that last part was just some random sentences. Anyways, um, so if I stand here, it should make a noise. Yeah, okay, if I stand a little bit further, it should Anyways, I will show you with the laser on now. We accidentally kind of made messed with the laser, so it's a little bit broken. So if I position this like that. Okay, good. Uh, so now that's positioned. So now we're going to do this. I'm gonna quickly turn off the lights. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this here. Stop. 
off, so I'm gonna take it away. Start. Stop. Start. You can make some pretty interesting stuff. Once I made a lightning bolt, but that's. I, I haven't been able to make it again. So that is my laser mirror speaker thingy. Thanks for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to work on and I, I, it was just fun. That, that, that's all I have to say about it. Uh, if you actually want to build this at home, because it's a really nice project, it'd be great for summer. That's coming up and maybe this will take up maybe a week of your time maybe less if you really focus on it i have all the parts and uh, links on amazon to them in the description also the code for the raspberry pi uh, you can just download it or copy and paste it's really fun to build it, it's fairly simple it's a lot simpler than you'd think i think the only hard part is the whole um wiring and stuff that gets kind of confusing but it's not that bad usually i say uh please like and subscribe but i thought i'd try something different today because i've been watching a lot of mark rober's videos and at the end he usually does a consider subscribing so i'm going to try that is it working are you subscribing are you clicking the button it's a red rectangle Just hit the button